Once Upon a Time, the musical episode, Sunday on ABC. Last summer, uh, a couple of incredibly talented composers, Alan and Michael, uh, came to see us. And they uh, were very enthusiastic about the show and about the idea of doing a musical episode. And as we started talking, ideas started to flow and we started to think maybe there is a way to do it. I think, you know, for us also, as we knew this year was going to be the wedding of uh, Emma and, and Hook. And we thought, well, you know, the one request we've had since the show began is when are you going to do a musical? Because obviously fairy tales lend themselves to that. So I think we thought, well, this is the perfect opportunity to uh, make their wedding even more special. Let's make that the musical. A lot of them come from musical theater. A lot of them, all of them love musical theater and they all have a lot of talent. And so the minute we brought this up to them, they were like children. They were all like, let's put on a show. I mean, every single one of them was very excited about it. I mean, one thing we've learned over the years is never bet against our cast. There's nothing they can't do. And when we started to talk about the musical, it was funny. I didn't really even think about it as like a question of could they do it? Would they yeah. want to do it? I just assumed they could. And not only could they do it, they exceeded our expectations. We've become used to writing things and then them making us look better. So we thought, well, this should be no different. Alan and Michael were big fans of the show and ABC put us together with them and said that uh, they were interested in doing a musical episode they had some ideas for how to do it and uh, they sent us some of their their songwriting and songs they've done and we were blown away by how talented they were and we were actually quite surprised we're like wow you know these guys are legitimately successful Broadway composers and really you know great talented songwriters and they want to you know do a musical for a show okay that sounds amazing and we sat down with them and they were amazing and it uh it really became a question of you know could we pull it off in terms of time and in terms of how we tell stories on this show and you know with enough lead time and 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 all the logistics of it like all those questions start to come into play but on a creative level alan and michael were so in sync with us that it was just it was an incredible collaboration from the get-go in terms of figuring out what songs we were going to do and how we we're going to approach the musical to this episode one thing we knew or decided on pretty quickly and it was a little bit sort of second nature to us was the idea of doing the flashbacks as songs um, knowing that we're in the enchanted forest knowing that again we have kind of all these heightened ideas that kind of tend to lend themselves to musicals in terms of these heightened emotions and so we've been talking about it very quickly realized that what we wanted to do was do a bunch of flashbacks. Each flashback would have a song in it. Each flashback would revolve very closely around a character or a couple characters. And then wanting to bring music into the end, into Storybrooke in act six, to kind of just show that the sort of fantastical elements that we've been dealing with really being dragged into, you know, quote unquote, the real world for the musical and for the wedding so that we could have that kind of burst of emotion uh, when Hook and Emma get married. In terms of the styles of the songs, I mean, it was very much a collaboration. I mean, again, when you lived with these characters for six years, there are certain things that just kind of leap out at you. Um, and again, with the two of them being fans of the show, I don't think they were surprised that, you know, the, to have this sort of Rocky Horror Picture show quality with Regina's song and, and to think about what Snow and Charming song. I mean, again, it, it fairly quickly, we realized, you know, we wanted them to do a love duet and, and it have it a little bit more of a classic Disney feel to it in terms of their their characters um, so there was a back and forth and there was a pushing and pulling of of uh, uh, some of the feelings within the songs but it was a collaboration in terms of figuring out what the the sort of the genre was going to be for everybody when you talk about doing a musical episode you you also have to interface with the other episodes of television that have been musicals and the kind of tropes and what people have done before and really make sure you know we didn't want to repeat anything we wanted to to do something that we felt was new and that felt to us a way of we, there have been episodes where people are forced to sing or you know they can't help it and and it's actually a bad thing and again the show in sort of the the 
character of Disney as a whole wouldn't want singing to be a bad thing. It really felt sort of powerful to make singing this good thing, a powerful thing, something that can kind of, you know, break down walls, that can kind of encompass love. Um, and the second we started talking about that, it felt right. And again, it felt like we were going down the, the right path in terms of what, you know, a once version of a musical would be as opposed to some other show. From the beginning, the discussion with the production team and the writers was that music truly felt organic to the story. It was not just here as a joke. It was not just here to do a musical and we've done it. It had to have real meaning for each of the characters and where their journeys were. And if you look at each song in the episode, it's at a huge emotional moment for each character. A lot of the early conversations with the team involved what emotional place would the characters be at that would be most satisfying to have them sing at that moment? What would be the most dramatic moment they would be at where a song just comes out? Um, and that's really what we focused on because you want to feel like the song is earned. You want to feel like it's, it's worthy of the story that's being told and that they're not just singing as a joke or a one-off thing, but that it's telling the story and it's forwarding the characters and it's revealing something about their innermost fears or secrets or desires that we wouldn't know without them singing it it was a real treat and in the process of it being first working with them writing the songs and then getting them in the studio to do the pre-records because they'd be lip syncing on the soundstage um, so each each one of them was going into the booth we sat with them for a couple hours going through you know multiple takes of them singing through it singing through parts of the songs and kind of finding their voice even in that moment and as they and we got to watch them find their performances which is always such a treat because they're all such great actors and as they're getting used to singing but then infusing their singing with the character that they've developed over so many years was just incredible because suddenly you saw Lana starts off, she's singing, sounds good, and suddenly you watch as the evil queen comes into her performance and it was like, oh my God, what a treat. They cast a spell so everyone breaks into song. <laughs> it's a magical fairy tale wedding event. Once upon a time, the musical episode, Sunday on ABC.